Hello everyone and welcome back to Dynamics Academy. In this course, we will learn about the history and origin of Microsoft Dynamics 365. Before starting this course, let me introduce about myself. My name is Abhishek Doria. I am a Microsoft Certified Solution Associate for Dynamics 365. I have more than 8 years of experience in Microsoft Dynamics family of products and I have started my career as a developer in March 2011 and since then I have steadily grown up from consulting to architecting and designing various Dynamics 365 and Microsoft Dynamics CRM solutions for our client and I will be your trainer throughout this course. Having said that let me introduce about the course objective. The main objective of this course is to make you familiar with the background of very robust, powerful and latest technology called Microsoft Dynamics 365. In this course, we will learn about the origin, history and roadmap of Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagement applications. You might be already knowing that Microsoft Dynamics 365 is combination of ERP and CRM side of Microsoft Dynamics family of products. But as far as this course is concerned, we are only going to learn about the history of CRM side of Microsoft Dynamics 365 that is also known as customer en engagement application. We are not going to cover the history of ERP side of its applications because that is a separate topic. Just wait for some time. We will be launching the course for that ERP side of Dynamics 365 as well. And since it is recently launched, so but natural, there is a huge shortage of sound technical and functional consultants in the market. If you take uh, this course, then you will be precisely knowing what the changes that were done in the Dynamics 365 since its first version and what are the new features that were officially released by Microsoft. Let me now show you the course curriculum. In the first module, we will see the detailed course content. Then in next module, we will see the target audience and prerequisites before taking up this course. In module number one, we will see the origin and roadmap of Microsoft Dynamics 365 from its first officially released version till date. Then in module number two, we will see the major features that were released as a part of Microsoft CRM 1.0 and 1.2. Uh, we are going to see both these versions in the same module because both these modules were released in the same year itself, that is 2003. Then in module number three, we will see the major changes that were done in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 3.0. You might be thinking that where is uh, 2.0 version, right? Microsoft has never released an uh, official version called uh, CRM 2.0 or 2.0 version was never released. So after that, we will see the module number four, we will see the major changes in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 4.0. And then in module number five, we will see the major changes in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. The one more point you can notice here is that till now, what Microsoft has followed for its naming convention was 1.0, 3.0, 4.0. But from there on, the uh, they have changed their nomenclature. They have suffixed uh, the Microsoft Dynamics CRM with the year in which that version was launched. So in module number five, we will see major changes in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013. Then in module number seven, we will see the major changes in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2015. And in module number eight, we will see the major changes in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016. And in our last module, that is module number nine, we will see the major changes in Microsoft Dynamics 365, which is the current uh, latest version of Microsoft Dynamics family of products. So that is an overall uh, course curriculum for this history of Microsoft Dynamics 365 course. In our next video, we'll see the detailed course content. I hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.